This is the M300 speaker. On paper, specs are very impressive. 70 watts of speaker out of four included drivers. It has RGB lighting, 10,000 milliamp battery, uses USB type C for charging. It has Bluetooth 5.1. You can pair two of them together for a whopping 140 watts of power. And it has an included 6.5 millimeter uh, microphone port or jack in case if you want to hook up a microphone and use this in like a karaoke style. But before I forget, my name is Sean. This is my tech channel where I do unboxing reviews and tutorials of different tech stuff like this. So if you think you like content like this, reviewing speakers, keyboards, uh, routers, gadgets, and things like that, you may want to consider subscribing. And when you do that, please remember to hit the bell notification and change that to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for my future videos. In the next couple of months, I'm going to have a ton of different comparison speaker reviews coming up. And I think you'd really don't want to miss those. In particular, there are two or three that I'm really excited about, but I cannot tell you what they are yet. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those upcoming videos. By the way, I do have a giveaway. If you're interested in winning one of these things, stay tuned and I will tell you somewhere in the video how you can request to be entered into the drawing. So let's take a look at the box. Uh, M300 party speaker, fantastic party light show, a mini portable karaoke room. We talked about that microphone jack that is included. Also, you can use this as a power bank as well. Uh, it has a range of 10 meters and it takes three and a half hour for a full charge of the 10,000 milliamp uh, battery. Frequency response, 50 hertz to 50,000 hertz. You get your USB type A to USB type C charging. You also get a shoulder strap, owner's manual, and the speaker. If you want to charge the speaker, you still need a power bank uh, to be able to plug this USB type C into to be able to charge this. So this weighs two pounds. And by the way, I always try to say this in my videos. I'm not an audio expert. I only share my opinion as an average user when I review speakers. So if you're an audiophile and some of my explanation doesn't make sense or slightly inaccurate, please correct me, drop a comment down below. I'm always looking to learn more. I am ready to pair and test this. I'm gonna play a few songs. One in particular is from my nephew. They call me Sham. Uh, I will drop a link to his YouTube channel. He makes different beats. So if you want to show him some love and if you like enjoy his music, subscribe and hopefully you will like his channel as well. Right off the bat, I noticed the RGB lighting is very, very bright. I have a dB meter. I'm going to measure how loud uh, each uh, song will get to kind of give you an idea, even though this is not a fully scientific way to say whether this is a good uh, speaker or not, but at least I want to share the data with you. And this, by the way, got up to 107.2 dB. Okay, so this got to 109 dB. I don't know if you noticed when the bass mode was activated because this song is so heavy bass, it felt uh, that it was getting a little bit distorted, so I turned it off, but because the song itself was very bassy, it still sounded nice. So I do want to point that out. So maybe depending on the music, you have to play around and figure out which mode is gonna sound better at 100% volume. <laughs>
So this song, because it's heavy bass song, it also sounded good without the bass mode activated. At least when I at a, listening to it at 100% volume, I, I felt it's getting a little bit distorted and it's more enjoyable when I did not have the bass mode activated and without it, it seems bassy enough, to be honest with you. So, and by the way, this song got up to 106.3 dB. And now I'm going to play the song by They Call Me Sham. This is called Way You Move. So this song got up to 102.7 dB. Like I said, because the song is bass heavy, when I turn the extra bass button or whatever it's called on, uh, I felt it was getting a little bit distorted. By the way, if you're interested in entering the drawing, it's very easy. All you need to do, make sure not only you have subscribed and commented down below, let me know you want to enter the drawing. And yes, I can see if you have subscribed and then send me a DM in my Instagram uh, account. Uh, and just say M300, that's the name of the speaker. If you get a response back from me in about six weeks or so, that means you have one and um, I will ask for your shipping information. Uh, currently, this company can only send units in the US, so I'm so sorry for my international viewers. Uh, if you're not in the US, you cannot participate in this drawing again. I'm so sorry. I feel bad saying it every single time. So the two speakers are paired. Instructions pretty straightforward. Just follow the steps in the owner's manual. But the key is you need to make sure you have disconnected all connections before you start the pairing process. We're going to listen to the same four songs. <laughs> So this last song is super bassy. I selected on purpose to try and see how the speaker can handle the bass. And hopefully you guys had a good idea of what this thing can do. Uh, this got to 106.3 dB. So now that we've had a chance to listen to one and two of them paired together and multiple songs in different genres, what is my final conclusion? To get this out of the way, do I recommend this? Honestly, absolutely yes. Hands down, we're not thinking about this because simply, at about this price point, there isn't anything out there. So it's a no brainer. And there's a lot I do like about this. Doesn't mean this is a perfect speaker. And I will tell you some of the things I did not like. Starting with the list of things I did like, like I said, number one is price point. Number two, it's power at 70 watts. And for this with the coupons that they have is only around 60 bucks at the time I'm recording this video. It has RGB lighting, but if it's not your cup of tea, you can actually turn it off. 
Another thing I like, the fact that you can pair two of them together with a very simple instruction with the uh, TWS button that they have included. Bluetooth 5.1 for good connectivity and low latency and IP67 so you can fully submerge this, not that you want to or you need to, but if you're outdoors and this thing drops in a pool, you don't have to worry about this. Having the added microphone port is a huge plus. There's not a whole lot of speakers that they do have that feature. The fact that they have it is pretty cool, but you need to keep in mind you have to buy your own mic. The added shoulder strap is a really good touch too. They really didn't need to because the handle is just fine. I guess they're thinking about if you want to use this outdoors, camping, whatever, it, the, it's gonna make it a little bit more convenient, I guess, to carrying around and handling this. Now, what are the things I did not like about it? Yes, number one, um, the bass button. While it worked well in some songs, but it did not work well in others. For example, if a song was bass heavy, and I'm playing this at 100% volume, when I would turn on the extra bass button, it seemed like it was distorting the bass a little bit, and it was more enjoyable to listen to the audio without that button activated. And honestly, that's the only one thing I could point out that I did not like. And that button, like I said, it works well with some in some songs and not well in others. It still gets my full recommendation. It is a lot of speakers you get at this price point. Hopefully this answered any questions you may have about the speakers. I do have a link down in the description below. Don't forget to also check out They Call Me Sham, my nephew, if you want to check out some of his beats and show him some love by checking out his channel. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. And if you want to enter the drawing, you know what to do.